Hey guys, it's Boa here, and this is how does Weeha plays Exhort Invoker in the early game. There's not much variance between how pro players build Exhort Invoker nowadays, especially in the early game. But if there's someone we can learn one thing or two about Invoker after TI6 is Weeha. One thing Invokers sometimes forget to do is send in a Sunstrike in the enemy base at the beginning of the game. It's a very simple thing to do, and can sometimes reveal which lanes each hero is going, or if the enemy is TPing each ward, have a smoke on them, etc. His starting item build is usually the same. A Wraith Band, an Iron Branch, Fairy Fire, and Pool Tangles. The Wraith Band is supposed to build into an Ekla later on, which gives you attack speed, which is something you lack, and the armor to the Ford Spirits can't be understated. The branch is more often than not eaten to give you that extra bit of region until you get level 2 Quas, which is only at level 4. And that's also why you always get a sell from the courier after picking the rune. Since we're talking Quas levels, the skill build is pretty simple. You always prioritize Exhort over Quas, and you want to have level 4 Quas and Exhort at level 8. After that you get 1 point in Wax and keep maxing Exhort until you're close to your Agonims. And then you learn as much Invoke as possible to sync it with picking the Scepter. Invoker is a hero that needs to farm reliably in the mid lane. You want a stable lane where you can out CS and out deny your enemy because of the advantage that Ford Spirits give you. And because of that, Weeha almost never uses Invoke to get any other spell rather than the Ford Spirits and Sunstrike combination, unless he gets ganked or dove in the tower. Getting ready, they will walk through the lanes. The DJ just kind of strolling on in. They get the wave of terror. The next thing comes out. There will be the searing chains to follow up. The magic missile comes in again. And once a couple of hits come through, this should be a very dead invoker going splat. He popped up the sun strike, anticipating everyone going back down. But Ember Spirit just with the burn down. Another very overlooked point is when do you summon your four spirits when you're level 2 or level 3? Most players would skill it right as level 2 comes, only to be able to use it faster, right? But see how Weeha waits for Magnus to use his nuke and then the creeps to get so far back into his tower to summon it. And that's because the duration at level 1 is very low and he wants to summon it when he knows he will have a harder time last hitting. And that's when he is under his tower. So at early levels, use the cooldown cautiously and avoid feeding, and avoid feeding your forge spirits. They are very bad at harassing in the early levels because of the range. But check how when the duration is almost over, we have sends the poor spirits for certain death. You usually don't want to feed them, but you only want to harass the enemy a little bit before they die. The item build is pretty straightforward. After the bounty rune, he gets a salve, then he goes for Ekla, Brown Boots, into Midas, and then Drums, and usually Scepter right after. The reason of the Drums build after the Midas is increasing the strength of your power spike. You're denying yourself a level of wax until level 9, so if the double force spirits are so important and strong, you rather build items that make them even stronger, right? And invoker and the spirits have low move speed and attack speed, so that's a plus, and it also gives you a little bit of stats and durability to survive and to fight, and that's why you keep maxing the X sort after level 9, to be able to have the strongest forward spirits possible to farm and push faster, and to be able to aid in teamfights with your Sunstrike, since you're playing a very greedy style of hero. One thing that most Exhort Invokers get wrong is trying to get fancy after they have their Midas and another item. One of the weaknesses of this Invoker build is that you want to max Exhort after the one point you get in Wax, which means your Invoke will be level 1 for a long time. And you don't want to AFK in the jungle, but you definitely don't want to start fighting 5 versus 5 until you have your scepter, because with the ridiculously high cooldown invoke, you will never be able to use your full potential in fights. You would rather focus on your strength, you would rather focus on your strengths, which at early levels is farming and pushing. You almost always want to go for a scepter after the drums, and you just want to keep increasing your farm until you reach the scepter. Also, you want to sink your invoke levels with the purchase of the scepter, kind of like an anti-mage does with his mana breakpoints and the manta. You usually want to have level 3 invoke when you get your eggs, usually maxing exhort at level 11 or 12, and then getting the invoke levels when you're close to finishing your egg scepter. And then you can start solo killing people and joining bigger teamfights. She's taking this up with Ohio. He's able to get the knockout off. He's able to follow up the misery. Could be a trouble. Just get in. Roto onto three. Oh, 
Try to use your Ford Spirits after the enemy uses AoE skills or when you know you're going to have a hard time last hitting, especially when you're low level. Uh, don't have the best heroes at completely zoning. He, he managed to make enough space for the Batrider. Once Batrider has level 3, level 4, this lane is gonna be a lot easier for him. DC has... Uh, don't have the best heroes at completely zoning. If you invoke a skill we already have learned, you won't waste the cooldown of invoke and you can use this to save a skill you would, you would otherwise lose after invoking it. Avoid using Sunstrike when the enemy is not disabled or not going towards a juke spot because you will often miss that Sunstrike. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower could use some help. Dominating. And try to farm the jungle with your hero and the lane with your spirits after the double fire spirits. Also, don't be afraid to bring clarities to keep spamming, Sunstrike, and being able to use your Fire Spirits in the lane. Usually, Uyaha brings 2 or even 3 clarities in the laning phase. And don't forget you can still do Roshan with Invoker. He is very good at it even after the Roshan buffs and the Fire Spirits nerfs. Ok guys, this is it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time in my channel, please subscribe to it. I'm making videos like this every day and I'm sure something here will spark your interest. And if you really like my channel, please check my Patreon rewards and see if any of them are of your liking. Bye.